yogis, I'm Claire Kagan. Welcome back to my channel where you learn how to love yourself and others through yoga. This is day 21 of a 31 day affirmations challenge that we're doing on this channel in the month of May. Today's affirmation is I am creative. So this flow is gonna be all about tapping into the sacral chakra, which is the center of creativity in our bodies. This challenge is all about reminding ourselves of how awesome we are through the use of affirmations, but it's also about encouraging the other yogis around us. So if you want to participate in the community aspect of this challenge, you have the opportunity to download a PDF of a calendar that tells you about all of the different themes for each day, and you're able to cross off the days that you complete. If you want to share about this challenge on your social media, definitely make sure to tag me at Claire Kagan and also use the hashtag hashtag I am challenge 2021 so that people can find you and encourage you. Also, if you want to participate in the I am challenge giveaway, go visit me on Instagram at Claire Kagan and you can find out the details there. And don't worry if you're joining this challenge a little late, you still have the opportunity to win. As always, if you like this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. This helps more people find this channel and helps the community continue to grow. Throughout this whole challenge, these videos will be premiering at noon Eastern time in the US every single day. So if you want to flow live with all the other yogis that are watching the premiere and you want to chat with other students and me during that premiere, you can log on at noon Eastern time every day. Also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any days of this challenge. Every single thing on this channel and as part of this challenge is totally free, but this work is supported by your donation. So if you do want to donate, you can donate to the PayPal or the Venmo in the description down below. 50% of everything you give goes to a different charity at the end of each month, which we vote on on Instagram. So if you want to participate in voting or you just want to follow along with what we're up to and also how this challenge is going, you can follow me on Instagram at Claire Kagan. You don't need any equipment for this class, so if you're ready to jump right into day 21 of our I Am Challenge, you can meet me on your mat. So like I mentioned, today we're working on our sacral chakra, which is the center of creativity in our bodies, to affirm ourselves that we are creative and stop telling ourselves that story that we just don't have the creativity gene, that we just aren't creative. I've told myself that story for years and that is not true. As humans, we are all inherent creative. So I want us to tap into that today. We'll start off with some belly breaths to get ourselves into that space in our body around our pelvis and lower belly. Placing both hands on the belly, you can close the eyes or keep the gaze soft and exhale all your air out. On the inhale, focus on breathing all the way in through the nostrils, filling up the throat, filling up the chest, those lungs are expanding, and then breathing all the way deeply into the belly, allowing it to expand like a balloon, letting it get as big as possible, filling up with air. And you can exhale just as deeply and fully in reverse. So first deflating from the belly, then deflating the lungs, letting the breath move up through the throat and out through the nostrils. We'll do two more of those big belly breaths, breathing in through the nose, fill up the throat, the chest, each rib coming away from each other, expanding and breathing into the belly, filling up the space behind the belly button, letting your hands feel what it feels like to expand with air and exhale in reverse, deflating the belly, deflating the lungs, letting the ribs come together, breathing out through the throat and through the nostrils. One more time, all the way in, filling up through the nostrils, the throat, the chest, expand the lungs, expand the belly. 
feel with your hands the way that the belly presses into your palms as you breathe in. And exhale to deflate, letting that belly come away and deflating the lungs, breathing out through the throat and through the nose. You can flutter your eyes open or bring more awareness to your gaze. If the eyes were open, we'll move toward a tabletop here, stacking the wrists underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. First, shoot out that right foot back behind you, and we will bring those toes down to the mat, tucked under. Just start to rock back and forth on the right toes, stretching out of the calf a little bit. Feeling the whole back of the right leg starting to stretch and wake up. As you rock forward and back. Next time that you come forward, stay there and we will engage that inner thigh to lift that leg straight up so it's parallel with the mat. Belly should be engaged, belly button drawing toward the spine. Press out of the mat with the hands so that the shoulders come away from the ears and you dome a little bit through the upper back. All five of those right toes should be pointing down to the mat and right foot should be flexed, nice and strong. We're gonna just start to pulse that right leg up toward the ceiling, keeping that knee nice and straight. The flex of the foot should help with that. So it helps you keep that leg nice and strong and straight. Keeping the awareness in the belly, engaging that pelvic floor. Keep on going for five, four, three, two, one, and stay lifted. Reflex through that foot even stronger, and we're gonna curl our hamstrings. So just bending that knee till it comes to 90 degrees, and then straightening. Bend and straighten. Give some awareness to the back of the thigh here where the hamstring lives. It should be firing up and igniting. The more that you draw your attention to that area, the more you should feel it lighting up here. Slowly and intentionally with our breath moving through this hamstring curl. Lighting up that lower body. We'll do two more, curling in, extend, last one, extend, and the last thing we will do is bend that knee and tap it to the right elbow. Extend it back out long, bend and tap, externally rotating the hip here to draw it outside of the ribs, draw the knee outside of the ribs to tap the right elbow. Just two more, and two, and extend, and set it down. You can shift the hips from side to side a little bit, and when you are ready, we'll move to our left side here. So I'm gonna turn around just so you can see me. You stay where you are. But first, we'll stretch that left leg out long behind us, tuck the toes under and bring them to the mat. Rocking back and forth on the left toes to stretch out of the back of the left leg. I'm really savoring this moment before we are doing our strengthening, just allowing some stretching first to warm up. And the next time that you come forward, stay there. We're gonna lift up that left leg so that the left leg's parallel with the mat. Just like on the last side, we'll flex the left foot. All five of those left toes point down toward the mat. Engage the belly, bringing the belly button toward the spine. 
keeping those hands pressing into the mat so the shoulders come away from the ears, doming through the upper back. Hips are level with each other. We're lifting from the inner thigh and pulse. Just pulsing up nice and consistent pace you can be going slower or faster than i am there are no rules around the speed of this pulse you can also of course as always take a break if you need one and join us back here when you are ready lifting from that inner thigh keeping that knee nice and straight so the leg stays engaged and strong. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it lifted, flex even harder through that foot and start to bend the leg 90 degrees coming into that hamstring curl and extend bend and extend <laughs> bending with the exhale extending with the inhale go your own pace with your breath but definitely try and move as slowly and intentionally as you can so that those muscles are engaging and you're really thinking about firing up that hamstring Regain some awareness of your lower belly. Can you draw your belly button in towards your spine anymore? Not like you're sucking in, but like you are bracing for one of your kids to come and hug you, <laughs> or um, I don't know, like you're coughing. <laughs> Let's do two more. Last one. And the last move, extend that leg out long, bend the knee and tap to the left elbow. Extend and bend and tap. Woo, my booty is on fire, both sides. <laughs> All right, just two more. One and two, extend set it down we can bring those hips back onto the heels maybe give the booty a little pat <laughs> Woo! all right we are moving into our cat cow from here so coming back to a tabletop inhale to drop the belly lift the gaze exhale to curl under inhale drop the belly exhale round the spine Moving with your own breath here. At the bottom of your next exhale, you can come back to your neutral tabletop. Start to bring that right foot in between the hands, coming to kind of the low lunge, and then scoot that left knee back. So basically the right knee is over or a little bit behind the right ankle and the left knee is behind the left hip. We'll lift up here into a low lunge with hands interlaced on top of the right thigh. Leaning a little bit into that left hip flexor here, the front of the left hip to open up that front of the leg the front of the hip on the left side but while you're here make sure that you're keeping that spine nice and tall so the shoulders are stacked right over the hips belly button draws toward the spine again just like you're coughing <laughs> so that you are not dumping into the lower back maybe feeling some pretty intense sensation through the front of the left hip now from here frame that front foot with your hands heel toe 
the right foot over toward the left, set the right knee down, preparing for a half pigeon. Right shin can be parallel to the front of the mat, or you can have the right heel a little bit closer to the pelvis if that feels better in your body. Either way, start to get settled in, feel the weight centering in your body from side to side, elongate out of the spine, and exhale, walk your hands forward. Setting the forehead down on something, whether that is the mat or a fist or two or a block. Definitely allow that forehead to rest though. On the inhale, you can press your way back up into that lifted position in your half pigeon. Tuck your toes under and send the hips up and back to your downward facing dog, just a transition to the next side. As you inhale, come to your low lunge on your left side by planting the left foot in between the hands, setting the right knee down, untucking the right toes. Make sure that the left knee stacked right over the left ankle, right knee is behind the right hip. When you're ready here, you can lift up out of that spine, nice and tall and interlace those hands on the top of the left thigh, driving the right hip flexor toward the mat. Pressing into those hands, you can straighten the elbows as much as possible, trying to keep that torso as upright as you can. So the shoulders are stacked right over the pelvis. You're elongating out of the crown of the head and engaging the lower belly bringing belly button toward the spine once again to protect the low back as you drive that right hip flexor down. So it's some counter actions here in the body. And just breathe into that frontal right hip, the right quadricep. Frame the front foot with your hands and we'll heel toe the left foot over toward the right, preparing for half pigeon on this side. Again, the left shin can be parallel to the front of the mat or you can bring the left heel a little closer to the pelvis if that's more comfortable in your body. It's definitely more comfortable in mine. So you are invited to take that variation with me. Inhale to extend out of the spine. Make sure your weight is even between sides and exhale to fold over that front leg. Resting the forehead either on the mat or on a block or on a fist or two, but definitely making sure that it is resting on something and you're allowing your neck and your shoulders to fully release in this position. Noticing how the area around the hips is opening. It's nice and warm from that activation that we did at the beginning of class. Letting go where you can, especially in those micro muscles around the hips that definitely tend to clench in this position. On the inhale, you can lift back upright into this half pigeon and tuck those back toes under, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Bend the knees setting them on the mat. Swing those legs around, coming to seated. Soles of feet to touch, knees out wide into a Baddha Konasana, butterfly or bound angle shape. And you can lie all the way down onto your back. So this is our final resting pose in today's practice. I would recommend staying here for as long as you possibly can. This is a super nice way to open the hips in a really relaxing pose, which is helping us clear some space around that sacral chakra and helping us tap into our creativity. 
So definitely take advantage of this awesome feel good pose. Thank you so much for joining me for day 21 of this I am challenge, this affirmation challenge. I hope that this practice left you feeling really creative, got your creative juices flowing, and I'm so excited to see what you create with this newfound sense of creativity. I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow for day 22. Namaste.